been able to ride today like I'm just getting to we had a great day at church we had a day that was called love first and we sent I think it was 18 groups out to various locations of Oakwood and Gainesville with uh, giant tubs of spaghetti, garlic bread, and cookies. And we fed a bunch of people today. I was in group number 11, led by Madison Maxwell. And we went to a new church start in the Mulberry Community Center. And that was about, I think they said that they had 35 people there today at the church. A few of them left, most stayed in ate spaghetti lunch. It was really good. I had to laugh at uh, one of the little girls as I was going around the table talking to the people. And one of the girls, it looked like she just pushed her spaghetti around on her plate. And I was like, you don't like your lunch? And she goes, I said, you don't like spaghetti? And she says, not this. I like my mommies and my nanas. <laughs> I had to laugh because that's uh, so true. It's a lot like what my, uh, my granddaughters would say. They like my spaghetti better than they do her mamas, their mamas. But they're burned out on both because uh, my daughter fixes it apparently a lot. So we've had to find a different, a different food for them to fix. Depending on which one is staying. <laughs> they are a card, but uh, yeah, we served 35-ish people at the uh, at the church there and uh, got to talk with their pastor and his wife and some other people. Uh, as, as we got everybody done, we sat down with plates to, to eat with them. It was good, very good. And uh, we got a lot of thank yous. But we had people that went to uh, that church, the Hispanic church on the Atlanta Highway, to an apartment complex up in Gainesville that we've been to several times, a couple of the fire stations, Walmart, Tractor Supply feeding their employees. Like I said, we had uh, some 18 groups. One group was just uh, at large to feed who they wanted. Which would be pretty cool. Just have it prepared in the back of your vehicle and just uh, fix up a bunch of plates and offer them to people. Well, that's a cool thing too. I'm not sure how the Joys did it, but uh, that would be pretty neat. Because we had those styrofoam to go containers that have one big in the front, two in the back. And uh, shoot you just fill them all up before you leave and just uh, pop in somewhere maybe a convenience store you know 
gas pumps, store clerks. That would have been fun. Got to see uh, a couple people I knew, at least three of them. One of the girls grew up with my daughter and then her mom was all, always around in the sports games and uh, they used to go to our church. Now they go there. Some of the ones that haven't drifted back to us yet. But it was a good, a good day. A lot of fun. A lot of uh, good conversation and just uh, meeting new people. Reaching out to them and uh, serving them. All about the towel around your waist. If you know about Jesus, you know about him taking his robe and putting a towel on and washing his apostles feet it's a pretty day out here 55 degrees it's just still holding it still holding it that what is that going to be that's a big building I wonder what you're going to be no signs no signs some gas over here on the other side of the interstate put some 90 dead dinosaurs in my baby some non-ethanol dinosaurs that haven't been screwed up with ethanol she do like the non-ethanol Still eating a Cracker Barrel. Oh, I don't know what that is, but I wouldn't want to hit it. Well, my friends, I'm going to leave you for a second as I pull in to get fuel. And uh, we'll be back in a second. Hello, my friends. Tin Man here on the return home uh, Sunday evening about 6.20. As you can tell, it's got dark. <laughs> Temps dropped down to around 50. This is nice out here. Just got to watch for the... Uh, the four-legged creatures. Thought I would uh, just give you a few minutes of the night ride. Anyways.
go a different way home than I normally go. One of my alternate routes. Dear, 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 hello, dear. Like to see them when we're moving slow. That's the best time. I don't know that the whistles were moving fast enough to do anything, but one sure turned and run. The other one, I think, was committed, didn't want to stop. problem of riding at night especially this time of year right now is when they're really up and moving some this year and then oh well there's not much left a month of seasons left is but I love riding at night I think it's because you get to see your gauges it's just cool at night I'm kind of a night person I used to always work at really like working nights too up on this old road here that house that house right there has been built since I've started coming this way Steady at 50. Beautiful night to ride. Might want to stop for this stop sign before we end up in the woods. <laughs> Sorry about that, buddy. pretty Christmas lights of Brazelton. They always do everything up so well.
Ford City Hall all lit up, State Farm. Frazzleton PD, 